Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the room as an electrical circuit. All acoustical room issues kind of work together to form a circuit. You've got pressure, you've got reflections, you've got room dimensions, you've got pressure levels in the room, you have noise transmission, you have rates and levels of absorption, you have attack and decay, you have a whole series of things going on and they're all kind of connected together. Even the distortions are connected into the same circuit. It's probably the same way, you know, amplifier designers go at it. They, they want the music, but in order to get the music, they got to have parts. Parts produce noise. I'm really noticing a difference in noise in cables with the new studio because I've been buying a lot of cables and using them in the system. And the the noise at both ends, the noise at the low end and the, the noise at the high end. You know, some manufacturers are good at getting the high end, some are, are getting at the low end. The, most, the cables that cost the most money get it at both ends. I, I'm kind of seeing that as a breakdown. So everything's related. We just got to keep that in mind. So we have a capacitor, which is a device that stores energy in an electrical circuit, right? Those are called capacitors. Well, a mode is a device that stores energy, too, in the room. You've heard of room loading. Well, that's that big exaggeration. When we look at frequency response, that's that huge peak, you know, below 100 hertz. And then it slides down, probably below 60 here, in most cases. We have a double peak sometimes. So the bottom line here is you got to have a lot of pressure in the room which can exaggerate or attenuate. You'll hear too much or you won't hear anything at all. Okay, so that's the problem. So we, we've got to keep that in mind. So a mode is kind of like a capacitor. It stores energy. Resistor is a device of what limits current flow through, through a circuit, right? So what's a treatment? Well, treatment's a resistor. That's what we're trying to do. For low frequency pressure management, we're using diaphragmatic absorption with our carbon technology. For reflections, we're using our foam technology, and of course, diffusion is always an option with reflections also. But the bottom line is the treatment is acting as a resistor. We're trying to limit the amount of energy in the room. We're trying to restrict certain things from happening, certain pressure levels at certain frequencies. So we're trying to resist it. So capacitors and resistors are kind of a and I go, uh, there's a good analogy that could be made, you know, between uh, room acoustics and electrical circuits. So treatment, the room stores the energy, you know, it's the capacitor, but the treatment manage, manages the energy flow within the room, the pressure fluctuations, the reflection, the reverb times and all of that. So room circuit. They're kind of related electrical circuits and, and the acoustics issues that go on inside of a room. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.